Well, in March this year, most of the world shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. An open call was put out, though, to quilters around the world to keep on quilting. The Wisconsin Museum of Quilts and Fiber Arts put out that call, and they wanted people to express their experiences during quarantine, and boy, did they respond. The museum received over 500 blocks from all over the states and as far as Australia as well. They've turned them into 27 quilts and counting, and they will be on display during the run of a new exhibition. So joining me now to tell us all about it are Devin McElrath and Emily Schlemowitz from the museum. Thanks for joining me, both of you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely, I think this is so cool. So let's talk about where the idea for the project came from because you put out this call in March. Yeah, so in March, we were having our first staff meeting over Zoom, and that was the last five minutes of that meeting is where the idea came from. Quilting is often a very collaborative project, so it was an easy association to go from um, groups quilting to a very large project. Um, so we just wanted to see what people could make and keep them focusing on something positive and create a community around that. I mean, boy, did people respond. Did you guys think you were going to get that kind of a response? Oh, no, I thought I'd get about 35 blocks and we'd have one quilt and it would be based on all of our members and it just, it exploded. Um. <laughs> it totally exploded. I mean, over, like I said earlier, over 500 blocks, 27 quilts and counting you're having to make to just display all of these blocks that you've gotten. So talk about where the blocks came from, because I mentioned as far as Australia, but kind of lay it out for us. Yeah, so a lot of them are very local. We have a lot from around different cities in Wisconsin, but we have different states, um, a lot from California, like this one here. Um, we gesture poorly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one's from San Diego. Um, and then we have some as far away as, like you said, Australia, we have Norway, um, where else? The Netherlands mm -hmm. and Hungary. Even yeah, even Israel, things like that. I mean, we're seeing some of the beautiful blocks and some of the, the fiber arts that have come together and what people have created. Um, what are some of the common themes that you're seeing, Emily? I, I mean, as we see these, a lot of them look very relevant to being in quarantine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of them are about the coronavirus itself. There's uh, blocks about family, about friendship, a range of emotions, um, connection, isolation, racial and social justice issues. It really ranges um, and reflects really the, what, the period that we're in. Absolutely. And talk about the techniques, because a lot of us who I don't quilt, I'm not as familiar with the fiber art. So talk about some of the techniques that people will see in those blocks. So some of them are, you know, uh, we have washes. Uh, a lot of people use scraps, scraps that they use to make masks and had leftovers, um, leftovers in their stashes. Uh, we had people who used felt. Um, it's really been a range. It's pretty cool. So, okay, these 500 blocks, they start pouring in. How did it all come together? And how did you decide we need to make all these different options and all these quilts? So uh, the first couple of weeks we got about five blocks and then after that it exploded from there. So we got five and the next week we got 10 and then all of a sudden we had about a hundred in a week and our local post office was holding the mail for us. So we'd go and pick them up once a week because everything was shut down. So uh, they couldn't deliver our mail to us. So we would go and pick them up and bring them here. And then I had, it was myself and another volunteer uh, who cataloged all of the blocks, all 500 of them. Uh, Kay was amazing throughout this whole experience. And so we cataloged them all. And then because of the coronavirus, our situation changed. We had a different exhibit that was supposed to be up right now, but it, the situation in the world just happened. So we ran with it and decided this was the perfect time for this quarantine quilt project to go up. So then through Kay, we found another group of volunteers to start making the quilts. So all of the quilts themselves were put together by volunteers. Um, about 17 of them made these 27 quilts in about a month and a half. So it was phenomenal work. These women are amazing at what they did. And then they coordinated them kind of by color, but also by theme. Wow. Okay, so the one that we're seeing where it looks like it's a mask, that's just, that's like huge, right? That's up on a wall. That's not a small mask. It is. It's very huge. Would you like me to show it to you or yeah. do you have a picture of it? Yeah, we're seeing the picture of it right now. And it's, you know, when you first kind of glance at it, you're like, oh, is that a mask? No, that's on a wall, correct? It's correct. It has uh, the most blocks out of all of ours. So that one was made by Linda Marcus and it has 
49 blocks in it. Um, so it's a seven by seven. So cool. Then, okay. So if someone hasn't <laughs> been, how is this working? Because this is going on now through mid-November. Can people come in person? Yes, they can. Um, we are open Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 4, or Sunday, 12 to 4. Um, or we do by appointment. So you can call or email in and we can set up uh, private appointments if you're more comfortable with that. Uh, but yeah, we're open. Love it. All right, I'm going to give everybody the information. Thanks for joining me, both of you. This is super cool. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Absolutely. And here's how you can see it for yourself. It's the quarantine quilt exhibit. It's now through November 15th, right at the Wisconsin Museum of Quilts and Fiber Arts, wiquiltmuseum.com, right in Cedarburg on Portland Road. The phone number on your screen as well.